Hello, friends. Um, I'm so used to saying something about 30 inks, but today I was sitting downstairs watching TV and checked my email and saw that I got the latest ink flight from Ink Journal. So this is an Ink Journal unboxing. Woo, woo, woo. Um, one of my favorite days of the month. So... I stopped everything I was doing, aka I got up from watching TV, and I went down to get my mail. So here we are. I've got some coloring cards. I have, let's dip this in some water. I have a um, paintbrush, to be honest, oh, here. I was gonna say I need a clean-ish. Um, piece of paper towel and my metal and glass dip nibs and some excitement to swatch. So let's open this up. Ho, 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 This is exciting. Very exciting. So. <laughs> Private Reserve. Like, we'll look at the inks last. Ink Essential Standard Cartridge Refill Kit. So this comes with two syringes with blunt needles and 20 empty international size ink cartridges. That's pretty exciting. Um, I do like using cartridges sometimes. And who doesn't want more syringes? So that's pretty neat. Um, these fit in the pin that they gave us last month. They call that out. Uh, and I frequently use these in my Koweko Sport. I like that idea. And I'm going to be taking a trip soon. Um, and I can always maybe bring more of these. Then we have this cute little fall themed Inktipus, I'm going to be honest, it has been over 100 degrees here all week, and I am not ready to see anybody in flannel and a wool hat with a pom-pom. So I would kind of like that to die in a fire. Um, and then we have these pip stickers, which are some really cute pins. There's a fountain pin. Maybe that's one, too. Most of these are not fountain pins, but who cares? They're super cute. Um, I really, I don't know what I'll do with them, but whatever, I'll figure it out. And then, beep, 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 the inks, which I saw without really intending to, but of course I did, which are troublemaker inks. So this is exciting because these inks can be difficult to come by. And looking quickly at the names of the inks here, I have only one of them. Um, so I, I pretty, I, I dig that because I think what I will do is give that sample to a friend. So contrary to the name, troublemaker inks are not difficult to use in your fountain pens. Each color is 100% mixed, bottled, and packaged in the Philippines by hand. Most of this month's flight includes new inks released in summer 2022. So, um, we have Nanita, um, Moon River, Tuslobua, Polar Lights, Mongo, Foxglove, and the one I have, Abalone. So 
Some of you may recognize this background if you've been watching my 30, weeks, 30 days videos. Whatever. So, let's get started. We have Nanita says this ink is a rich burgundy with a green black sheen. So, ooh, bubble, oh, pop. Usually I go for a bigger container of water. So I hope I don't regret this. <laughs> it will. Um, This reminds me a little bit of, what did I do? What did I do? I don't even know how what I just did was possible. Oh, I got it on the little ball and, well, time makes fools of us all. Um... This reminds me a little bit of Macopa. What is this? Nanita. Yeah, like, I, things are going poorly for me right now. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. We're washing it off. Just rub some dirt in it. I'm going to be honest. No part of this strikes me as burgundy with a green-black sheen. But let's let it dry in. Check back in. So that was Nanita. Next up, we have Moon River. And this is, says, this pink ink has dreamy, multi-chromatic shading, tones of green and bluish gray. I feel like I've done something wrong. <laughs> Let me go get more water for rinsing. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> that was pretty funny. <laughs> There's something in there. Let's see, I think that looks better. Uh, 
Um, I am not experiencing this as a pink ink. <laughs> Okay, we're going to go empty our water real quick, just in case somehow it is that. Okay, some things have moved. It's fine. It dries more pink than it goes down. So that's interesting. Let's look at the next one, which is Tuslob Bua, which is described... This says, named after a popular Filipino food found in Cebu City, this ink has a gravy-like hue that shades well. Now, there's a part of me that wants to kind of push the question of what do they mean gravy-like? Because, like, biscuits and gravy, which is almost white, or um, some other kind of gravy. I suspect they mean like the kind of gravy you get in the U.S. if you're having turkey or in U.K. with your Yorkshire puds. So. A sort of a baby diarrhea color. <laughs> Which is far less appetizing. Japanese curry. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine, Maria. Just keep going. Keep talking and making people hungry talking about diarrhea. Um, okay. And this is... Apologies, by the way. Feel free to correct my pronunciation if you uh, speak Tagalog or um, know better how to pronounce these words. Somebody's going to love this color. Oh, I've been messing this up. I'm forgetting to swatch on my other paper. I remembered for the first one, but not the second. I mean, it's hardly surprising I forgot to this for the second one. Like, so many things were going awkwardly. Um, let's do that really quickly. It goes down so gray that I was just like, what do you mean pink? <laughs> For reals, like even in the cap, it looks gray. Okay, so then the next one is Polar Lights. And it says, this deep Purple black ink looks like a night sky with the shimmer of Aurora Borealis. Here's my question. We all say with Aurora Borealis, does Aurora Australis look that different? Or are we just very northern hemisphere centric? I don't actually know the answer to that question. Because I would have assumed that there's no good 
understanding the phenomena as I do that overall astralis should look much the same. Let's go. No, there is a shimmer in this ink. So good that I shook it. An actual shimmer. I didn't think I saw any on the bottom, but we'll give it another little rollicking before we dip for the writing. I've been fighting ants for like a week and I'm tired of it. <laughs> I need a flamethrower. Oh gosh, I, just, I don't know if you heard that. I just was like really excited getting <laughs> rinsing off my nib and the ink whenever. <laughs> I mean the water whenever. Okay, that was polar lights. You can already see a bit of this shimmer. I hope that comes through for you. Um, then next up we have Mungo or Mango. Wow, I don't own any colors like this. If I did, I'd have used it a day or two ago. In my 30 inks, probably. Mm -hmm. Ooh, hoo, hoo. <laughs> oh gosh, I don't, I don't know if that was on camera, but I almost just dropped my glass pen. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh. <laughs> I'm having real troubles right now. And then next up we have Fox Glove. Which I think I might go grab my little swatchy sample-y thing because I suspect this is similar to an ink. Mm, maybe not. I thought it might be similar to an ink I had. And I'm not sure. Oh, I'll tell you what, one of these did some really cool things on that paper towel. Many of them, probably. Mm -hmm. 
I sometimes think like, I don't need all these samples, but this is truly a delightful time of the month for me. So I don't need them, but they are so much fun. And my next 30 inks, 30 days, I don't know if I'll do November, but the next one I do is I is gonna be, I think all um, ink flight samples, because I'll have enough at that point. Then, the last one, and I am gonna swatch this because there's always variation in, in, in especially in these smaller brands with how inks look. So, we have, Abalone. My little container of water is not a color I enjoy. Well, it's okay. So pickly. <laughs> Is that a good way to put it? So, here we are with our samples. Good job. Yep. <clears throat> Everything is good. Everything is good. Let us put these um, here to dry. And we'll get some swatches for comparisons. Um, I think that's fun, right? And if you don't have the song Moon River in your head, I don't I don't know what to tell you. I don't know how you've avoided it. Okay, I'm back with some comparison inks. Um I don't have a lot for a lot, but well, I kind of have a lot for a few. So the first one that came to mind is for Nanita. I had two that were like maybe similar. Also, um, Ink Flight inks. Let me get these out of here. I'm really sad because look what I did to Mongo. Aww. Um, so here is Nanita, and the two that seem similar were Makopa, and this one is really not that similar. So you can see this is far more hot pink. The uh, one that struck me is more similar is Cardona, but Cardona has a shimmer. And then I suppose, actually, does that mean that all the best? Kind of similar to Nanita. But yeah, I suppose Cardona is the most similar of the inks I have. But that doesn't mean it's actually very similar at all. So we'll put that one aside. And then um, looking at Moon River, some comparisons I thought were apt were um, Sailor Ink Studio 252. This is actually not that dissimilar. If you look at the writing and like look at the color down here, I feel like that's pretty similar. Another one from last ink flight is um, Seki, the Sailor Yuramaku Seki. Um, I feel like this is more gray, this is more pink, but they're still pretty similar. Um, another we could look at is probably Sailor Yuramaku 
kyo kyo. Um, but this is to me much more purple. So that's that. Then if we look at Tuslo Bua, um, two that came to mind to compare it to that are not that similar, but Vinta Leite, if you have that, um, Sailor Yuramaku Amamuyoi, and Sailor Yuramaku Kyokuya. So again, none of these are really all that similar. These are far more cool. This has a lot of that yellowy in it. Nope. Oh, on the ground. I threw it on the ground. My dad's not a cell phone. Uh, then we can look at abalone. So somewhere I have abalone. Where did you go? Here's my last swatch of it. Mostly the same. So not disappointed. If we want to compare it to, for example, Petrichor, Abalone is far more blue. Um, Something I thought would be close would be Colorverse Mystic Mountain. This has shimmer, but it's also more blue. Um, the Birmingham Pins Eroded Bronze. This is pretty close. So it may not look it in the swatch, but if you look at the writing, these two are not dissimilar. And then um, other ones we can look at would be like Sailor Manuhaha, Pannonia Balaton Kek. So this is a more, uh, this is a tone, it has more gray in it. And these. Definitely not close. Everything is a mess over here. It's fine though. Um, and we'll look at Foxglove. So these, uh, the one I thought it would be closest to and why and how I talked myself out of this ink is um, Colorverse from Cali. And they are pretty similar. If I look through the lens, um, if I look at the camera, what I'm seeing is this is more pink. This has definitely got a lot more pink in it. I think it's more saturated. Um, I do really like Foxglove, but I have a bottle of this and I can't, in good conscience, allow myself. Uh, another one that maybe, if you went, so this is Purple Sea Star from Venta. This was the uh, San Francisco Pin Show color. Definitely far more blue. Then we have a series of a couple of sailor colors that are not very close. Sailor Manyo Narashiko, Sailor Manyo Neko Yonagi, Neko Yanagi, sorry. These are far more blue. And Pannonia Orgona. This is ends up being grayer and less saturated. So those are the comparisons I'm making. I have made a mess of my swatch cards now. So that's a thing that we did for fun, apparently. But let's take a look at this again. We have um,
are seven inks. They're all troublemakers. So we have Nenita, Moon River, Tuslobua, Polar Lights, Mongo, Foxglove, Abalone. We have these super cute stickers and some empty cartridges and a couple of syringes. So this was the ink flight for September 2022. I'm pretty excited. I'm curious, um, do you get this? If you do what's, you know, having looked at these, what is the one that you're most excited for? If you don't, same question. Which of these is the most interesting to you? Um, I am not an orange fan so I'm I'm always actually kind of glad to get an orange because I wouldn't have one otherwise. Um, obviously, I own abalone, so I love it. I love foxglove. It's gorgeous. Polar lights looks like it could be really cool because it has that unique. It's a it's like a teal shimmer in there. This is not my kind of color. This sort of. How do we describe this? Sort of an oxidized avocado color. <laughs> uh, kind of a, a greeny, yellowy brown. <laughs> Moon River is really interesting. Um, that does not look like a river I would want to swim in because what is making the water that color? Um, and Nanita um, is interesting, but I wonder if it's one of those inks where you don't get to even see the base color of the ink because all you see is the sheen. And I like those and I don't like those. It kind of depends on the mood. So I'm excited for all of these and I can't wait to get them in pins and see what they're like. Um, thanks for hanging out with me. Oh, I didn't show this off. I did, here's the swatches on Tomoe River paper. So we have uh, Nanita, Moon River, which is amazing. Like, look at the blues that come out of that. Tuslo Bua, Polar Lights, Holy cow, I don't know if you're getting this. Shimmer, Mongo, Foxglove, and Abalone. So I do, um, don't worry about that. That's some other ink. Um, I do really love these on the Tamoy River paper. Um, and I can't wait to take a look at them more. Thanks again. Have a wonderful day. Bye.